Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. Yay! I'm, I'm, I'm somebody, and this is <laughs> this is Brent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're talking about school clubs. School clubs. After school clubs. Yeah. Yes. So we see this a lot in anime and manga, right? All the time. Yeah. We uh, after school club. Yeah. This club, that club. Yeah. Come join this club. What, what are these clubs? So they're a little different in Japan, but they're not unlike they are over here. So these are schools that these are clubs happen after school in Japan. So the idea is you stick around after your classes are over and go to a club. Uh, what's unusual in in Japan is that usually there's a, there are rooms set aside in the uh, school building for clubs. So there may be a whole row of rooms on one side of the, oh, wow. the yeah that are all intended as club rooms, and uh, kids can have them for the, for their clubs. Um, they're usually led and organized by students. So a bunch mm -hmm. of students will say, "I want to have a music club, or I want to do a manga club, or whatever." And so they'll uh, go around and get it. Usually, you'll need some minimum number of members, five members, say, and there needs to be some faculty member to signing off, sign off on it. Kind of makes sense. So, so, so the faculty member is not leading it; they just sign off on it. Exactly. You can think of the faculty member as kind of a. Would be a good example of this. Um, uh, so if you're in school and um, a faculty is, my mind just went blank. Let it all this out. Um, ah, uh, you can think of it as like a, like a school advisor. So they're there to make sure the club is going the way it should, answer any questions, mm -hmm. to help it help it run. They may stop by every so often, um, but they're not there every week usually. Mm. Yeah. Just yeah. check in, make sure. Everything's mm -hmm. going okay, but not running or leading it. It's it's left to the seniors, it, or it, so it, it, exactly. It, it's it's usually led or left to whoever is kind of organized it and whoever is pushing the the club. And it's usually the older uh, students. In some of these clubs, especially the sports clubs, the senior members get a lot more privileges than the younger members. Hmm. So in a tennis club, for example, the younger students may be expected to, to literally. Um, catch balls for the older uh, members during their tennis matches, and then only when they're done can the younger members actually practice. Uh, paying their dues to get up to when they're seniors, they'll have mm -hmm. the freshmen do that. Or... Exactly. So the freshmen are expected to do a lot for those older students as time goes on. Um, but that's usually a little bit more in the sports clubs than the others, and we should mention that. So sports clubs like tennis or baseball or kendo mm -hmm. or uh, uh, I suppose uh, uh, some of the other sports you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But what other what other types of clubs are there besides sports? You'd also have what are called culture clubs. Mm -hmm. So these are clubs for more intellectual hobbies. So they might be traditionally say flower arranging or things along those lines. But they could be about manga and anime. They could be about. Um, uh, let's see here. They could be about writing. They could be literature about club. literature club, making movies, what have you. As long as you can get enough people together to support the club, and there is some topic. Mm. You can't just have a general the random go club. club. Yeah, absolutely. The SOS Brigade. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. Um, the SOS <laughs> it would be hard, hard pressed to get that yeah. uh, signed off by a teacher, I suppose. Those of you who've seen Shimonetta know that. I'm sorry, not Shimonetta. Um, who've seen it? Watamote. Um, which is called um, "It's Your Guy's Fault I'm Not Popular." Um, uh, you'll you'll know that there's a thing in there where the, the main character tries to start a an SOS Brigade type club, and then realizes that no sane person is going to agree to a club that has no purpose. It's just there for people to sort of get together. You know, that's an anime thing. That's not a real thing. Um, so yeah, so um, so there must be some topic, minimum number of people, and. Um, um, it's one of the reasons the faculty advisor is there is to make sure that there is some useful purpose to the group. So, so now uh, in an anime that I remember seeing a lot of club activity, I think was uh, Genshikan. Yes. Um, and we see the struggle to keep the club together mm -hmm. and cohesive, fill the requirements. Do clubs usually fund themselves or do they get subsidy from the school and how do they keep do they have to renew every year? Good or? question. So generally the way it works is that if you have, an, so let's say you want to start a club, you'll, you'll need a minimum of, say,